Howdy again everyone, and it's time to answer that age-old question that has troubled even the greatest scientists and lofty-minded philosophers for centuries. What is the sharpest 24mm camera lens available today? One of my favourite focal lengths on a full-frame camera is 24mm. It's impressively wide, while not being difficult to use, and if the lens has a bright maximum aperture, you can get some subtle background separation that really gives your images some depth. I particularly like 24mm for wedding photography, and of course, if you're using an APS-C camera, then it's the full-frame equivalent of 36mm, which is also an incredibly useful and popular field of view. I've always had trouble finding incredibly sharp 24mm lenses, though. It seems to be a slight weak point in many manufacturers' lineups. For example, in the past, Samyang, Sigma, and Nikon have released 20mm lenses before, which are sharper than their 24mm equivalents. Even some very expensive 24mm lenses from the past are looking pretty outdated when it comes to corner sharpness, and that's a shame, because corner sharpness is especially important on wide-angle lenses. So, let's see what some of the sharpest available are today. As usual, links to full reviews are available in the description below, and no fanboying in the comments section, you know who you are, fanboys. And also, fair warning, a lot of these lenses are only for Sony E-mount cameras, until Canon and Nikon do the right thing and open up their camera systems to third parties. First up, in 7th place, the Sigma 24mm f3.5 DG-DNC. This is one of the most beautifully crafted, high-quality, wide-angle lenses that money can buy. It's almost as if Sigma managed to transport some Zeiss engineers from their heyday in the 1960s to come and make modern autofocus lenses for them, and it's a complete joy to work with. It's also a very sharp lens in absolute terms, and it has a neat macro ability. It only comes in at number 6 on this list because of its unimpressive maximum aperture of f3.5. The more challenging designs of the upcoming lenses give them more credit. Still, those who have handled this beautiful lens tend not to forget the experience in a hurry. At number 6 comes the Nikon Z 24mm f1.8s. Nikon's new Z mount lenses are, on the whole, expensive but spectacularly good. This 24mm lens is probably the weakest of their selection. Considering its huge price of $1,000, I wasn't blown away by its image quality, but it's still a decently sharp lens that can get you some beautiful images, particularly when it's topped down just a little bit. But, as I inferred earlier, Nikon's 20mm Z mount lens is considerably sharper. Now at number 5, the Zeiss Batis 25mm f2. These Zeiss Batis lenses are expensive, some would say overpriced, but they have lovely handling and build quality, and most importantly, this one is pretty sharp too. Not ridiculously sharp, but certainly consistently good, from the middle of your images and into the corners, where it manages to hold on to its contrast pretty well. Its maximum aperture is not quite as bright as some of the other optics on this list, but it certainly has many happy owners who swear by it. And now, at number 4, the Tamron 24mm f2.8 Di3 OSD M1-2. Some of you might be pretty surprised to see this one on the list. It's one of the cheapest autofocus lenses available on the entire Sony system, but I was really surprised and impressed by its sheer resolution. This lens is sharp, from corner to corner, straight from f2.8, with very good contrast. The only reason it didn't come higher up on the list was because of its rather uninspiring maximum aperture of only f2.8. Like the Sigma lens on this list, it also has a very useful macro ability, being able to focus very closely on the smallest of subjects. A really great lens for only $250. And now, at number 3, the awesome Samyang AF 24mm f1.8 FE. 
This lens is very new to the market and I absolutely loved it in my review and it has a number of special features to ensure that it's particularly useful for astrophotography. Ultimately, what took me aback though was its fantastic sharpness and good contrast from corner to corner in your images, not to mention low coma levels too. It's nice and sharp on an APS-C camera as well. Its relatively affordable price of $500 seals the deal and makes it one of the very best value for money 24mm lenses ever made. And now at number 2, a brand new lens. In fact, I had to rewrite this whole video in order to accommodate it after my test results for it came in. The Sigma 24mm f2 DGDNC. I am a fan of Sigma's I series of contemporary lenses that this belongs to. In fact, the f3.5 model of this lens came in at number 7 on this list because of their spectacular build quality. But this lens plays in the top leagues when it comes to sharpness too. Straight from its maximum aperture of f2, this lens's sharpness and contrast are just spectacular. It's a little expensive in absolute terms for an f2 optic, but then again, perhaps not when you compare it to the Zeiss Battis lens I mentioned earlier on. This 24mm lens really is a thing of beauty in just about every way. And at number 1, well, any Sony fan won't be surprised to find that their awesome FE 24mm f1.4 G Master lens is here. It's a hugely expensive lens, but it's their best shot, and it fires on all cylinders as the sharpest 24mm f1.4 lens I've ever tested. If truth be told, its image quality is more or less the same as the Samyang and Sigma lenses that came in third and second place, which cost less. The Samyang option in particular is miles better value for money, but the Sony lens opens up to f1.4, which is 66% brighter than f1.8 and a whole stop brighter than f2, giving it a bit more credit. Also, its close-up image quality is a bit better than the Sigma and Samyang lenses, so it reaches the number one position here, just about. So that's it. What's your favourite focal length on a prime lens? If you could only have one, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, having the sharpest and most expensive lenses in the world isn't everything, even if it might be fun. Take care and God bless.